Hey Libra, this is Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC and I'm here with your October 2017 reading. Happy birthday to my Libra celebrating their birthday this month. Thank you guys for watching this video and supporting I said supporting girl some of y'all may be watching a bit too much porn or maybe you will come into contact with someone who likes a lot to porn or maybe you and your partner want to do some experimentation upon the things that you see in porn now videos but um thank you guys for supporting my channel and my business um if you would like a personal reading with me please check out my website that's www.thesinclair.com um all right you guys I feel for some of you, you may come in contact um, with an Aries, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. These people may be a nuisance or they may help you through your life's journey. I also feel like you guys want to push through this month with a full force or this month wants you to push ahead through any odd difficulties that you've dealt with in the past. I am picking over some of you guys may receive flowers or you may be ready for springtime. Some of you guys may go on cruises or trips um, sometime during spring 2018 or maybe you're just reminiscing upon everything that happened earlier this year because this year is almost over which is very crazy. Um, for some of you, there may be talks of proposals. Some of you guys may be taking your relationship to the next level. Um, I do see where some of y'all may have some issues with law enforcement. Some of you guys may be taking a lot of trips to the mountains. Um, if you can, please do so because I feel like the like going up on a higher land level is going to help you guys out tremendously if you feel stuck if you feel cluttered if you feel confused okay so if you can take a trip out to the mountains um i also feel where some of you guys may be working out this time during this time excuse me or you want to develop arm muscles some of y'all need to have strength and patience with yourself I also feel like this is going to be a very delicate time. You may be fairly sensitive uh, with what people say to you or just you may be sensitive with the energy and just begin your feelings, honey. Um, some of y'all, there may be issues with people criticizing you, but just, you know, just take it as it is. Some, some opinions may be helpful, but some may not. So just don't take it to heart, all right? But give me six cards. What's going on for Libra? Uh, for October 2017 happy Halloween uh, to those who celebrate Halloween believe it or not Halloween is my favorite holiday interesting money is going to improve so don't worry about that I also feel like there's going to the focus is on money um, and career if you are divorcing um, some of you guys there's a sense of alimony coming through or pension i'm hearing pension strong pension vibe so maybe like retirement money or money that you've been waiting on is, is going to come through something about the third week third week of october for some of you if you're lucky maybe the 10th of this month but I'm also seeing where you guys need to be more realistic about your future and you need to set legit goals that you will be able to maintain. I feel like this is going to be a beautiful month for y'all, for real. Like, give me, damn, so many cards are popping out. Give me six cards. What's going on for Libras? For October 2017. What's going on? What's going on? for some of you there may be this sense of confusion um whether you should follow your heart or follow money some of y'all may be stuck between two different things and it may not be 
follow your heart or follow money. It may be um, follow peace or take a rebellish turn within your life. Whatever it is that you're debating on what to do, this is going to trouble some of you. Regardless of what decision this is. Because I'm seeing how you guys want to please other people, yet you want to gain the benefits yourself. However, unfortunately, whatever the situation is, you're going to have to hurt someone or yourself in the process. So, do you want to hurt yourself or hurt someone else in the process? And I feel like this is a situation that you can't long anymore some of you guys may be uh, choosing between two lovers maybe an earth sign or an air sign Capricorn Taurus and Virgo um, Aquarius Gemini Libra I can think or maybe some of you are trying to weigh out the pros and the cons with a particular earth sign or if not an earth sign this person this person has a lot going on in their life. They may be sucking you dry. They may be going through a very difficult time in their life. This person, they may be in and out of work. They may have lost their job. Or maybe this is you. This is a general reading. Kind of flip it to how it resonates. Sorry that I'm blurry. But I am seeing also where your divine God and angels are testing you in regards to morals and greed you guys are going to have to sacrifice something this month but regardless of what you have to do it's going to bring you a step closer into where you want to be I am thinking where some of you guys may think about past lovers you're going to think about past hurts you're going to think about you know the what ifs the misfortune I am picking up where some of y'all are pregnant or you're trying to figure out if you should stay with your partner or leave if you are pregnant. If you come across a job and this company, you know, may be bribing you, hey, you know, you're going to make more money with us. We have all these types of benefits. I'm seeing how this may kind of bite you in the ass because I'm picking up that there's more to this new job than what you expected. I mean, it's going to you're going to benefit from it some way somehow, whether it's full insurance, you know, higher pay, but it isn't going to stop the madness within your life. It's going to add more madness into your life. I also feel like this talks to traveling. Some of you guys may find an interesting lover this month. Especially if you're single and looking. This person that may be a water sign. Cancer Pisces a Scorpio. Or this person may you may feel really connected to this person. Kind of like love at first sight with this person. Some of y'all may meet this person at work. Or you may meet this person at school. Or in an open an open area and I'm seeing that some of y'all may meet this person while you're having a bad day or you, there's a sense like you're just really confused about everything you're going to be in, in deep thought but I feel like this person they're going to their energy like when you first lay your eyes on them or whatever the case may be there's going to be this sense of this person is like time this person makes time stop and you look at each other and it's very peaceful. Some of y'all may even meet this person while you're like randomly lost. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. Rather it's lost in direction of your life or just lost in that area. Not trying to be funny. Uh, I do see where there may be issues in regards to plane travel. While rather the plane has um difficulties like uh malfunctions and i don't feel like there's gonna be a, tr a 
a plane crash. I'm not picking that up, but I just feel like there's going to be um some scares. Whether there's fighting, fighting on the plane, or like I said, there's an odd malfunction. Whoever you need to walk away, y'all already know my damn reading, so jump me so it is what it is. Whoever you need to walk away from, let it be what it is. Because I do see where some of y'all are holding on to past hurt and um, regrets in regards to a particular relationship, especially if this is a fellow, my Libra women. If you've dealt with a water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, this person, there seems to be connection to this person. They have money. Um... They're very gifted, they're very talented, like maybe a business owner. Um, either this person has brown hair or green eyes. There seems to be a connection to brown hair or green eyes with this person. But I'm seeing how this male was very manipulative and threw you for a loop. They may have already been in a relationship or married. I'm seeing how this person is going to come back, mm -hmm, confirmation, married. This person may have been a Cancer, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Pisces. Yeah. More than likely, this person was already in a relationship or married. This person is going to come back into your life, and they're going to try to sweep you off your feet. They're going to try to bribe you with gifts or travel. This is going to be a very complicated situation and it's not going to be good for you karmically. If you have dealt with this person or if this person comes into your life. Okay. But I feel like this is someone from the past because I keep picking up already dealt with, already dealt with, walk away from them. Okay. Um, this person has a lot of secrets and I feel like there's going to be more about this person. Or if you are the one who's married and dealing with other people, your mate will find out. Or maybe your mate even already knows. I feel like if you've been unfaithful, um, or like I said, if you dealt with someone who was already in a relationship or married, um, and, and if you already knew about it, be prepared for some... Serious karma. Okay. Some of y'all, your money may, may get affected. You may lose hours. You may even randomly lose your job. You may even lose your wallet. However, if you are in this situation and you don't know that this person is married, get the hell out of it. Don't, don't go back. Don't go back. I am seeing that if you guys are understanding of respect and if you are realistic about what you want in your future, about what you want for yourself in a positive way, then things are going to be good for you. But I'm seeing how, yeah, yeah, things are going to be good for you. But I'm seeing how you guys are going to be more focused on career or love. Things are going to pick up. I feel like money has been tight for the past either 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, maybe 10 years, or maybe since um, October last year. But I'm seeing how it's going to pick up now. Financially, things are going to pick up. Some of y'all need to be real. Um, some of y'all need to set new goals. Or you need to network yourself more. You need to go out. Let people know what you do. Let people know your name. Or if you just want more friends, be more social. I am picking up where father issues may come about, like father and son issues. Um, maybe for my maybe for my women, um, just father not being there type of issues, or having you're starting to realize the type of issues that you have with men. 
and how you've been letting men push you over because there's sadness and disappointment in regards to the male perspective. I am picking up where stress is not going to be your friend this month either. If you find if you are stressing a lot, you're going to get sick. I am picking up where some of y'all want to work on a relationship that is damaged or very codependent, and it may be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Is. But I feel like there's some issues that you guys aren't letting go of. It's either you or the other person is holding on to a lot of grudges. However, I am picking up where there's talks of pregnancy. Um, there's talks of getting a new home, moving in with mate. I am seeing where some of you guys may go into online dating. Online dating may not be too good for some of y'all. I mean, I feel like you're going to meet some interesting people. But I feel like these people are going to be like too overbearing. Just too much. These people may emotionally dump on you. Or the conversations may not be exciting or fun. However, I'm... For some of y'all, I do see some of y'all finding interesting love. But you can't force it. You can't force it. Some of y'all are going to know the difference between the two. But this month is going to be very big for, you know, the future. So prepare yourself for that, alright? Hope you guys enjoyed this reading, though. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for November. Bye. No, I'm going to be back for mid-month, mid-October. Mid I forgot I'm doing those. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.